Hello guys, Deuterant slash Lawrence Wayne here, and today I'm going to show you the graphics processor for the Red Game 4. Now this thing is massive, 64 by 64 blocks, which equates to 32 by 32 pixels, full color, all the colors of wool. So you got white, orange, magneta, light blue, yellow, light green, pink, the whole thing, all of them, all those colors, and um, all sorts of functions you got full box a uh, hollow box and dots which is the same as the other ones and I'm just gonna have this test program loaded into the computer ignore all the stuff on the bottom left of the screen that's just some debug information and I'm just gonna stand here so you can watch it work so right now it's rendering the first the green rectangle and as you can see there's three copies of the rectangle because of how the graphics process works it's a full stage system. Also, here's the final screen, which is currently empty. And it has an, it's a proper double buffered graphics processor. So there we go, it's done. We'll just wait for it. This thing is extremely laggy and uh, it's pretty much the most powerful graphics processor I could build without crashing Minecraft. I actually crashed Minecraft a few times. So as you can see, you can render multiple shapes, you can render them on top of each other, and you have multiple colors, put them all over the screen, and it's ridiculously big. So the control logic's over here. This over here is basically there's command blocks which remove rows of redstone blocks with uh, fill commands to control these. And you have similar over here. To reset, you just set all of this to redstone blocks, which is the easiest thing to do. And here's the control logic. This big thing over here is basically all the different wool colors. So if the color is 6, if the color is 7, if the color is 8, if the color is 9, and so forth, all the way over to color 16, because there are 16 wool colors. And it basically replaces it with uh, different colors of wool and stuff. This decides the graphics processing function, which is fill or hollow or dots. And this basically resets the stuff. So, because that needs to happen as well. And these are the 1D line drawers. I give an in depth explanation for how these work in uh, another red game video. So, I'm not going to go into details. It's basically just copy pasted the red game 3 one for now. And someone's going to tell me in the comments, probably, you should make it faster, and I know I should make it faster. This is the first working version. Uh, as you can, s you may have noticed, these things were running much faster than they did last time. I also was just pumping up random stuff in the text about that. So that's been optimized already. I haven't optimized the graphics processor yet, I'm about to. Um, let's see, the full stage system. I call this the frame factory system. It's a system I invented to allow for full color screens to work, including a frame buffer. So first you have the raw render, which is basically just your traditional sticky piston wool screen, which pushes the blocks forward that need to be rendered. And so once the shape you're making, in this case, it's the four dots. Once that shape's been made with the pistons, it goes onto stage two. It gets copy pasted over here and then using a fill replace command block, I replace all the white wool with red wool in this case, or it could, I could replace it with green wool, with blue wool, with pink wool, whatever the color is, I replace it over here. And once it's been painted, we go onto stage three, we get copied over here, but not, it doesn't replace all the blocks in this one. It sort of gets copied into here. And then once the frame is done, once all the little components have been copied, it gets put into the final image screen, which is what the user would see. And you've got all these shapes. So, uh, that's it, I guess, for how the graphics process works. Um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do next, probably... The main CPU stuff's done, there's still a lot to do, but the skeleton for it, so to speak, is done. The GPU's pretty much completely done, except for optimization. And uh, 
I've noticed I now have almost all the outputs done for the user outputs. So, you know, we got debug outputs and printing output and stuff, but I haven't actually gotten any inputs working yet. So it's pretty boring right now. We can't interact with the computer yet. So I'll be doing that next. I'll make a fancy little control panel. And uh, for fun, I'd like to ask you a question. Would you prefer it that the control panel was up here so you would see the screen like this? Or would you prefer it that the com control panel was at ground level so you'd be looking up at the screen like this? So just tell me in the comments. It used to be for the red games, I believe, like this. Except for the red game 3. I... I think I put that somewhere in the middle. No, I had two floors at the Red Game 3. Uh, I don't know. So which one do you think is better? And also, I'll be running a poll on the Minecraft form topic for the coordinate system, because I'm honestly confused as to what I'm doing. Right now, this is coordinate 1, 1. This is coordinate 1, 2. Coordinate 1, 3. 1, 4. 1, 5. 1, 6. All the way up to 1, 32. And that's 32, 32. That's 32, 1. So, as you can see, it all starts with 1. And there's a reason for that. But would you prefer that I start at the top left corner, that being 0, 0? Or uh, that corner being 0, 0? You know, I'd like to know what you would think is best for the Red Game 4. Because I want this to be as cool as I, as cool as it can be. Which is why I made this ridiculously massive full-color screen. It's really the most powerful thing I could possibly build in Minecraft. I'm not sure if it's possible to make much better than that. Because there's like a limit for how much blocks a command blocks can copy. That's 4096, I believe. And this screen is exactly 4096 blocks. So literally any more would require more command blocks and more copying and more lag and just it probably crash Minecraft. So. I say, this is a great graphics processor. It's a little slow, I'm gonna work on that. It's, this is gonna do some really cool stuff. I can promise you that. It's gonna do some, it's gonna make, I'm gonna make it do some really awesome stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you're excited for the Red Game 4, or Commodore 32, or whatever I decide to call it as I am. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.